Local meteorologist Wayne Mahar is a fan favorite in public. But Saturday night, Mahar took a break from reporting on the snow to hit the ice for the foundation he created in honor of his mother, who passed away seven years ago. She passed away, and like many, many people of, uh, of many ages, uh, the only person that she had living with her for many years was a dog. Uh, well, when she passed, I wanted to keep her name going, uh, so we started the Priscilla Mahar Animal Welfare Foundation. And at the War Memorial Arena, the Syracuse Crunch took on the Rochester Americans. But it wasn't just people that took to the stands. Their canine friends were invited as well. Saturday night, the Priscilla Mahar Animal Welfare Foundation hosted its fifth annual Pucks for Paws event, where Syracuse Crunch fans could buy $5 seats for their dogs. A friend of mine uh, just got tickets for tonight and said he had a dog ticket. So I'm, I used to play hockey and she works at the dog rescue, so it works out real well. The Pucks for Paws event raises over $2,000 for the Priscilla Mahar Animal Welfare Foundation. The night also brings in animal rescue and pet adoption organizations with the hope of finding new owners. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of rescues that are here. It gives exposure. There are dogs downstairs to the rescues that are going to get adopted from being seen here tonight. Two to 300 dogs were in attendance from hockey super fans. Crunch fan and he also is a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. To small dogs like Mahar's. He's sort of mellow. Okay, he, uh, uh, he uh, is just taking everything in. And to big dogs that need their Sit, own bud. extra large jersey. There you go. And, uh, he got his jersey on today. He's wearing actually my jersey, extra large. We wear the same size. Mahar says he is optimistic about the growing number of attendees at Pucks for Paws each year. Well, I mean, the crunch are great. They're big animal lovers just like I am, uh, and it continues to grow every year. The crunch fell 2-0 to the Amherst to even out the season series, but on Saturday, the real winners were the dogs. In Syracuse, Brian Chung, NCC News.